Ja. All right, good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are checking out. We've got a big drive ahead of us again. We're off to Lucerne and uh, have to leave this beautiful, leave this beautiful landscape behind. We've got the mountains and all sorts of shit going on. But we have to catch the, oh, focus on me. Um, we have to catch the train from uh, wherever we are, Zermatt. That's where we are, Zermatt. So I gotta go from Zermatt down to the town before Zermatt. Tasky or Task or something. Um, pick up the car. Drive the car to Lausanne. So a quick Google map is telling me it's about six hours to drive and it's just got past nine. So I've got a lot of driving ahead of me today. So fingers crossed we can get there before dark, but I want to get some nice uh, footage of the outdoors. Because this is gorgeous outdoors. There's that view again. See it there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's gorgeous. So the plan, so the plan will be what well, breakfast. So, I think I'll have breakfast, there's like bakeries everywhere, so I think I'll get like a croissant like I had yesterday morning. Probably the cheapest thing that I can get without getting run down by a bus behind me. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it yesterday, but in Zermatt you can't drive at all. The only cars, or any vehicles that are permitted in Zermatt are electric. So you've got all these like really cool Johnny cabs from like, uh, from what's that movie called? Total Recall. You've got all these Johnny cabs everywhere. Oh, all frozen over. And you can barely hear them, so you're like walking along there in the street and all of a sudden there's like a car about to run you down. So the only cars that I've seen around here that are petrol or diesel powered, like a fire engine or the uh, police car. There's a bakery just here, so I'm not going to let you know. Get some breakfast if they're open. Bonjour. Let's get a croissant. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Alright. Breakfast. Coke and a croissant. 4.40. Alright. Train station. Say goodbye to Zermatt. It's been a pleasure. It's been absolutely stunning. I can't not talk about how awesome this place looks. If you're, if you're in two minds about going to Zermatt and to like the Matterhorn, definitely come. It's expensive as hell, but my god, it's just gorgeous. Alright, what's the time? I have time. It is 20 past, so 15 minutes I think. Alright, might be just enough time to smash down this croissant. I seem to have made some friends. So, while eating my croissant, I am dropping crumbs on the ground. And then my friends... My friends come along and uh, clean up after me. They're really not scared about me kicking them or anything. Like, I'm not going to, but... Yeah. They like a good croissant, so do I. I wish I had a bit of butter, though. Breakfast done. Now... Oh, the train's just pulled up. That's good. Hey! Oh. Alright, well, I nearly killed myself there. Nearly broke my jaw. This tripod just went straight up into it because the bag got caught in the fucking turnstile. That'll look good on video. Alright, we're back in Tashk. T-A with a little thing over the A. S-C-H. Tashk. But now I have the awesome task of paying for parking. I wonder how many millions of dollars this will cost me. I better get my checkbook. He doesn't like my card. Ooh, new coin. Alright, they've paid. It was 31 Swiss, Swiss, Swiss francs? That's better, Swiss francs. That's about, well, put it this way, that was for less than two days, 31 Swiss francs. No, my parking for Dublin Airport will be costing me 29 euro for five. So, well, when you corner the market, you can basically charge whatever you want.
Testing. All right, so I just pulled off on the side of the road to get some footage. The train just went past, so I'll put that here. I want to go down there, but I don't want to go down there because knowing my luck, I'll end up sliding and then I'll end up in the fucking lake. And I don't want that to happen. Like, I want to get down that way, but I don't want to go all the way down that way. Trudging through the snow. Trudging through the snow. How are we going to negotiate this? That's better. All right. So, this, dirt, that, ice. I don't want to stand on that. I think we'll go this direction. We get set up here. I think that's the scoop. All right, so that's successful. And it landed in the water. That's a plus. That's probably more than a plus. I don't want to land in the water. Look at this view. Talk about erosion. That is straight down. We've just driven over that suspension bridge, so I've just turned around and parked. So the mat is in that direction. But yeah, it's a good way to end your life if you don't want to uh, live anymore. But if the fall doesn't kill you, I'm sure the minus temperature water would probably do the trick. If you're in need of help, call someone. All right, so status update. Um, I'm in Furka something. Anyway, apparently the, the GPS is taking me on some sort of route that there's a big ass mountain in the way. And this mountain, you can't drive in the middle of winter. So we're about to catch a train. Uh, we're about to go on the train in the car. Uh, I don't think there's any way around it. So kind of just wing it here, I think. But, you know, like... I don't want to sort of get stuck up in a mountain. You know, it's like minus one at the moment outside. So I don't want to get in trouble. I have no idea how much this train thing's going to cost. Souvenirs and tickets, that shop's shut. I suppose we just follow the leader and uh, see what the person in front does and go from there and put a second mortgage on my house if that's what needs to happen. Otherwise I have to drive all the way back. Yeah, all the way back to where I started from and then continue around the fucking mountains again. Kinda don't have the time to do that. Hello. Uh, 33. All right, there we are. Thank you. All right, so that was, what's going on here? Upside down, windscreen wipes. So 33 uh, Swiss franc for retour. Maybe it's cheaper because the roads closed. I hope so, like whose fault is it that like the roads closed? Like I know it's, winter and stuff but I wasn't expecting to get on the buddy train to get to where I needed to get to but at least I'll be able to uh, perhaps go to the toilet and have some lunch but I can only imagine train lunch will be equally expensive as every other place lunch so there's a uh, traffic jam I think the trains just pulled up from the other side so I'd say in a second we'd be getting on that train but yeah we're, only, we're gonna go through this mountain and there's a tunnel there, so... But, yeah, there's mountains and shit going on there. Alright, so we're about to drive onto the train. I got the GoPro at the front, so I'll be able to show you what's going on. But I've never driven on a train before. Europe is all full of uh, new and interesting things. Alright, I'm gonna have to put this down before I crash. Oh, here we go. We're going. Now we're going through. in the train, we're in the car. Light on. So we're in a car on the train. This is crazy. All right, so we've just made it out of the tunnel. We're on the other side of those massive mountains and if I get a opportunity, I'm gonna like park up somewhere and take a photo back in that direction because those mountains are massive and they are like covered in snow. Now I do need to go to the toilet. I thought wrong and I thought maybe you park your car and you get out and you go sit somewhere, but no, you sit in your car for the entire journey. So uh, toilet and something to eat would be good. I'm just rocking out to Brian Adams, so that'll do. Alright, so 
so I've just managed to find a car park in Lucerne. And that's where we are now. So as I was saying, driven to Lucerne, um, I'm not 100% sure what's here, but my mother just kept on crapping on about how awesome it is here. Um, so I sussed out where the cable car is, the cable car that goes up a mountain uh, away from here. I'm um, not going to do that today because it's 3.30 and we've only got a couple of hours of sun, not even that. I would say we have about 90 minutes of sunlight left. They've got electric buses here. That's only a small one. There's like double bendy bus ones. Yeah, so I've left my gloves in my car, so I'm kind of regretting that one, but I don't think I'd, I don't imagine I'll be out very long, so harden up. Where are we? So this is, that's a lake there. I can only assume that's Lake Lucerne. Old buildings and such there. But I can only imagine that this place on a sunny day, it's just the tops. <laughs> I mean, you got the lake, you got these mountains, snow cut mountains, and well, the lake is crystal, crystal clear as anything. Look, there's money in there. You can jump down and grab the money. But won't be doing that. Oh, look, there's a castle over there too. Alright. So I'm going to get some safety shots because I can only hope that tomorrow the sun is out. A swan! This cloud is just ruining every like potential photo that there is. Like, it still looks cool, but it's just not as it could as it could be with the cloud. It's like, yeah, the rays of lights are coming through, but the clouds are still around. So I just hope tomorrow that the cloud decides to disappear and I can get some better photos. There's this old wooden bridge that goes over this little river. There's all these signs that says do not ride on the bridge because it's an important monument. I'm getting happier, like the sun's coming out. That's great. So because the sun's decided to come out in the areas that I've just been to, now I have to walk back kind of to where I was before to get as much as I can of the sun that's out. It's like the world's smallest ice skating rink. We're just going around the surface. So I've just smashed down a quarter of a pizza. Very, very appealing. Bon appetit. Um, it was like six, six, six Swiss francs. They keep saying euro. It's not euro. It's Swiss francs. Um, but anyway, I'm in this like shopping mall underneath the main train station. So it's warm and it's undercover because it's raining outside. Just very lightly, but enough to sort of annoy you. So you know, there's like chandelier kind of things going on up in here better than uh, getting wet. Ooh, ooh, it's one of those buses I was saying about. <laughs> it's like a big tram. Powered by electricity. Let's see, it's three. It's three, um, three sections, not just the normal bendy bus of two. Yeah. 